Good morning, YouTube. I'm here with the Eddie Horvath. Good morning. Good morning. And today we're back to our old routine. Uh, no crew today. Uh, and we're back to sawing like we like to do. And uh, boy, last week we got, boy, did we get a lot done. Yeah, we utilized our help last week. And I don't know it. if the camera shows the, the dry pavement here, but uh, yeah. Eddie's dry. It, it took 28 years yeah. to get a roof over my head. Boy, for for real, really yeah. yeah. For, for real. Because <laughs> the other building down the other uh, Meadows Mill, someone actually sent a comment, and I didn't get a chance to answer these comments. Uh, I, I, I try my best to keep up on the comments, but it's overwhelming. I mean, hundreds yeah. and hundreds of comments. And uh, I try to answer each and every one of them. Um, that's part of my job and uh, YouTube's not as easy as you think <laughs> it <laughs> takes right. up a lot of your time um, it is October 24th yeah and coming up on one year Monday since my dad passed away and that's God like where did, where did that time go and uh, next week is Halloween so we got to get ourselves a pumpkin Eddie yeah we're gonna carve one on the sawmill Maybe we, maybe we will get one of them big ones. And I don't know. We'll, I, don't I might know. be up Janoski's later on today, so I might uh, <laughs> I might, uh, uh, might go pumpkin. I might find a pumpkin for us to carve on a sawmill. So, um, John Clark from Frickin' Jeep, uh, he said that the steam shows, they used to do the uh, pumpkins on the sawmill. Big attraction. Did they? Yeah. I never saw it. No, I never seen that done. So, well, we're going to see it first up and close here. And uh, what's what's on our agenda for today, Ed? Oh, we've got an order, an order of decking again, 10 footers, two by eights. Uh, we're gonna see if we can't get that made. And if we got enough time, make the front of this building here. We've got a nice, nice, nice piece, stick of white pine. Yeah, a big fat piece oh, of yeah. white pine we wanna put on the mill here today, hopefully. So, uh, well, with that being said, uh, we better get to her. Let's so. get her done. All righty. All right, let's get this show started. And we're going to saw up a few little logs here. Nothing big. Little pieces of pin oak here. But all I got to do is square up seven and a half inches and if I can get a hold of that or not. All right, let's just throw it on or see what happens here. There it goes. And the laser looks all right today. Let me get rid of that little flare there. After the first cut here, I'm going to see what we have for us. Board thickness. I still think I gotta check them saw guides here. It's throwing dust. Alright, let's just put this to the knees first. Tried to roll on us here. All 
break. Let's see where we're at here. see something I don't know what oh saw okay got it now saw got hot on us be with you here in a second. All right, we found out that the saw nut had come loose, which I have no idea how that could happen. But uh, I seen a sawdust shooting up behind that board, and that's when I said I should come out and look at that saw guy. But uh, never had a saw come loose on us before, so and it looks like it was cutting a nice, very nice true face on the log. So. Um, Lucky you have saw guides, because otherwise that saw would have come up out of there. It would have been a catastrophe. So we're going to go and fire back up here in a second, and we'll be with you there. Be with you then. All righty. We're back out of here. Don't know what could have happened to loosen up a saw nut like that. We're going to keep an eye on here after we're done. actually a pretty little piece of pin oak. I'm going to bring that one face back out one more time. And we're going to get it down to seven and a half inches. And we're going to go ahead and take off uh, let's see what I got here. One. I'm gonna see a board thickness here just for the heck of it. See where we're at. All right, let's take a look at the thickness here. Be with you here in a second, here, people. It's pretty close for what we're doing with it. We're making decking, so. We'll edge this one off. Hopefully we get seven and a half. She got some LED lights on at the moment, <coughs> which um, <coughs> are helping a little bit. I'm going to throw that back tape rod just a hair. But what you pick up on one side, you'll lose on the other. So. To double check this set. Alright, let's double check this. <clears throat> Just want to make sure how close we are. Right on the 
money. All right. That's the problem about these old set works. You, you have no adjustment except for a, uh, just a, it's a Honeywell limit switch. And um, where it comes in contact with that little gate, that's all it is. So we'll try to show that in depth someday. Put that taper back away. That makes more sense. And dog her down. And away we go. Split this. Let's see where we're at here. And we're going to take this. We're going to try to get two out of here. That should be pretty close. Small logs, you gotta try to get the highest yield out of them. And that should be perfect. That should be our double inch and a half. There we go. tiny log now. I don't know if we're going to get enough out of this little piece, but we're going to try it. Yeah, I had a heck of a time getting our uh, logs yesterday. Was, everything I scanned had metal in it, so... Try to get a seven and a half inch parallel cam out of this. A right, little bit more there, Eddie. to play with here people. I'm gonna take a try to get a little bit wider face here and then we'll roll it back out. Alright let's roll her roll her out one time.
And our goal is seven and a half inches here, so I'm just going to run it right down, take it off as a slab. Close enough. We'll get a few out of here. Better than the firewood pile, people. Make some money out of it. that light we got LED lights on in the building right now and the LED the, the good thing about it sunlight carries every color in the spectrum LED lights don't carry all them colors so green will show up because I gotta take just a smidge off here So, sunlight will rob you of your colors, artificial lighting won't. Okay, now we'll get an inch and a half off of here. a little scary that saw that nut come loose enough for that thing to uh, jump out past the uh, shear pins and it just sat there and spun no damage done and that's a good thing but again you own equipment you're going to work on it Let's see. We're close enough here to get up. two off of here again. Let you go here for a little bit we're gonna shut everything down for a minute and check that uh, saw guy or the uh, nut again make sure everything's tight so we'll be with you here in a minute all righty what an aggravating day huh oh, I'll tell you that, saw blade comes loose on us that's the first time and the only time I've ever heard that happen if somebody's heard it happen before yeah we've 28 so. years of sawing and uh, well there it is there's there's the decking we, we got our pieces out and we had to go fish out one more tiny log with a bunch of crook in it and oh man it's just Small logs are a very challenge on the mill, and when they got crook and everything else to them, it just makes it all that much more fun. But at least got you some sawing video in. We never did make it to that white pine today. Um, hard to work when you just got two people, but. Uh, I've been waiting for it to rain, just to see if the roof worked. Yeah, and see, look, it's dry. Yes. <laughs> Eddie is Eddie's dry, yay. I may just come out here next time it rains, whether we saw or not. Just come out and hang yeah, out. Just to, just to see if it leaks. Exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna try to do a nighttime video this week. Um, we're gonna do a the white pine. We're gonna saw that up and that'll do our front of the building. So hope you enjoyed our 
day of aggravation, and uh, we'll talk to you sometime next week. Mm. Mm, bye bye. Thank you.